Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? HTG Brian back with some more Funko Fusion. This time we got Scott Pilgrim versus the World Level 3 Story. That's right, vegan and again. This one tasks us with taking down two of the evil exes, which I kind of wondered how that was going to happen. There's only five levels and there are seven evil exes. Now in the movie, they do take down the twins in one particular point. So there's two for one there, but I wondered how they were going to handle the rest. So here we are in the Funko Factory Scott Pilgrim hub area. We're going to make our way to door number three and take on Vegan and again and literally take down two of our evil exes. Now, there are some weird spawn behaviors in this level. If it happens to you, I suggest reloading the level. Uh, like, for example, if Todd shows up where we'll show you, definitely respawn and start over because it's not going to be good. Now, as we go down the street here, we see some nice graffiti on the left. We notice a charge station there, some snowmen, and a brown van. Right as you get to the brown van, it's going to cue a cutscene. So let's go ahead and see what's to see. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it's Roxy and Todd up next. In fact, we're going to go Todd, then Roxy, just because of the efficiency and how the level is laid out. As soon as she disappears using her teleportation, we will likely be attacked by a bunch of bad guys. Unfortunately, they come from all sorts of ways, so be watching your front, back, and side to side. Go ahead and ratty those baddies and make your way over to the mold machine on the left where we are going to mold a amp. So, or an amp. And you can see on the far right, there is the red spawning baddie over on the far street there. Uh, unfortunately, he spawned in a spot we couldn't get to him. And that seems to be an issue, at least at the time of this recording. Uh, we've had him spawn in four different places in this level. All very different and some achievable, some not. So if that happens to you, I recommend restarting your game or at least the level so that he can spawn in a spot that's doable. All right, we've crafted or molded an amp we're gonna flip it on over to the yellow by smacking it and then load it up by shooting at it and shattering that glass we'll rinse and repeat here with this second glass pane now i want to point out too i mentioned that todd one of the bad guys spawned in a wrong spot he actually spawned right in that corner in that coffee shop and he was not at the destination he's supposed to be so i had to restart the game it may happen to you if you find him in that spot definitely restart the level because you won't be able to come it. And the last thing I want you to do is trudge around, find Roxy, spend the time fighting Roxy, and then find out you didn't complete both of the battles to pass the level. As you can see, lots of guys spawned on the far right side. That's because they're trying to lure you down there. And we're going to take this amp. Now, you can totally craft another one at the end of the street. And I probably should have because those guys were blocking the doorway there. You make a better door than a window, bruh. <laughs> all right, regardless of which way you choose to bring the amp, take it all the way down to this alleyway where you can see Todd is waiting at the end. We're going to flip it over to the blue sonic waves and approach him carefully. As you see, there is a collectible on the right there, a piece of bread. You are welcome to get that if you so choose. We are saving all of those for the fun play mode. And uh, so, yeah, we I actually got one of those on accident. Todd actually slammed down and attacked and got it for me, which was frustrating because I wasn't even near it. But go ahead and send the sonic waves out towards him. He's going to crash into the wall into a new room. We are going to need to grab this amp because... To defeat him, you have to actually push him back using the blue sonic waves into three buckets of chicken. That's right. You can find this out by talking to the robot tripod on the stage there behind us to the right. The goal is just to place the amp out on the main area and blast him into the bucket. It's all about angles. If you've ever played the game of pool, you probably understand how this works. You just got to get from the opposite side of him and knock him into the bucket. So here we are. We got another one on the front stage there, but we've come to the back side over by the bar so we can go ahead and get the proper angle to knock him into it. Booyah kashow. Two done did. We just need that third one over on our right. It happens to be on the left as you enter the area. 
But I'll line it up early now, place it down. You can see the pathway of the blue sonic waves based on the little lines that come out of the backside of the amp. Look at that, he's nom 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 nomming. And guess what, here in a second, the old vegan police are gonna show up. If you've seen the movie, this is a hilarious reference. A little different than how the movie went down, but it's still funny nonetheless. Eventually, he will have the tweeters above his head there, and we will walk up, speak to him, and you gotta give him the old pal right in the kissa to collect the coin. Now we'll be able to take that coin and insert it into the machine straight ahead of us here, which is gonna give us the fun key to exit the level later. But we actually need to take down Roxy to get another coin to get to it. So uh, they both are required to take down. You can see there, there's the helper. If you're having troubles, definitely look for those robot tripods or seek out our videos as we're probably gonna be fairly helpful with that stuff. Likely gonna be some things that we don't catch or that maybe you struggle with that we uh, didn't showcase in the videos. But again, that doesn't hurt to ask and you know see what we know. Now I did find this weird little, uh, I don't know if it's an exploit or a glitch, but you see that if you roll and jump, you can actually get a lot of momentum sometimes. At the end of the street though, we gotta backtrack a little bit and go left instead of right. And at the end of the street, we're gonna see Roxy right in front of the, I guess it's some sort of like, a, a nightclub number four I don't I don't remember number four being in the movie but uh, I probably just missed that detail bunch of guys come from all angles again and this is actually one of the areas that I saw the red baddie spawn as I mentioned that earlier there was three or four different positions he spawned in so I don't know if that's by design if it's supposed to like you know randomly generate here or there or if in fact it was some sort of a bug that was happening so we'll have to wait and see as time goes on, but hopefully by the time we get to fun play, it'll all be sorted out and consistent for all. All right, speak to Roxy. She's gonna say, uh, I'm gonna take you down, obviously, and you gotta shoot four points of the four and drop it like it's hot right on her head. Now I was looking over here because there was a weird sound as I shot that that made me feel like maybe the red orb baddie had spawned again, but it was not the case. After speaking to her again, she actually goes into the club and it should be noted that she will not chase you out. At least she wouldn't chase me out. She respawned in the middle. And the best way to take on this battle is to use the environment against her. So these speakers on either side, she's gonna do this crazy spin attack. And as long as she hits a wall or an object, she'll stop, then you can shoot her. And then it's important that you do not let that meter deplete her. You gotta keep hitting her. And I recommend using melee over shooting because you have to shoot these chandeliers or disco balls to drop on her head. And you definitely don't wanna run out of ammo and have to reload in that moment where she might actually, you know, respawn or I guess reset. And, you know, I found that she was doing some crazy ground attacks and look at all the vinyl that she's revealed. I was really worried she was gonna get a collectible. Luckily for me, that didn't happen. As I mentioned, I'd already played this level a couple of times due to user error or uh, some sort of a programming issue too. So uh, that being said, you just gotta let her spin to win and <laughs> those speakers and keep hitting her. I, I believe it's the rule of three. I sort of lost count already. And she doesn't always go right at the speaker. As you can see there, she sort of avoided it. But each time you hit her, you can fill the meter 50%. So basically you gotta do it two times for one time, and then you gotta do it three times, if that makes sense. So, and then she spawns some duplicates too. Very confusing battle, I, I will definitely admit to that. And again, this may get refined as time goes on, but use that speaker as much as you can, cause she will crash into it, causing herself a little disorientation, and then you can go ahead and take her down. This I believe is one of the final ones here where we can go ahead and uh, drop a disco ball on her head. Yeah, there we go. And again, melee her as she walks to the point of interest so that that meter stays up and it does not deplete her before you complete her, the one up above. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. All right, two of the three down. And we just gotta repeat this once more. And again, I'm not sure why there's two of her spawning. That is not how it happens in the movie. So maybe the comic books has other stuff to offer that I'm not aware of. But it's funny, because the one duplicate will disappear once you 100% her, and then the regular one gets a little, like I said, disoriented, and then you gotta track her over and drop the ball, literally. What is it, New Year's Eve? All right, so this should be one of the last goes here. Look, I try to take her outside, and she will not come out. 
So she just resets back inside, and I was like, oh, no. Did I just start this boss battle over? Look, watch, I even look up at the ceiling here in a second to, like, confirm. Did, did I did I get unlucky? At least I, I thought I did. <laughs> All right, 50%. One more time she's going to spin and smack, and we should be able to... Uh... Oh, yeah, look at this. We got bad eyes coming from outside, too. That must have been because I walked outside. That's another reason not to go out there. So here she is walking all the way to the front. So this one could take a while and her meter may deplete her. And I do believe if you do let that happen, she will regain her health and maybe have to start that round again. I, I didn't let it happen, so I'm not exactly sure, but definitely don't do that. Drop it like it's hot one more time and she should teleport over to the door. And then on the other side of the door, which now we have the fun key for taking out Todd so we can get through this particular doorway. There are some bad guys on the other side, so be aware of that. As soon as you open the door, you will be attacked. Only one guy comes at me, but the other three, I believe, are tucked behind the door on the hard left. Surprise! Yep. And I shouldn't have ground pounded because I was like, oh no, don't get any collectibles. Because, of course, that's important to me. I strive for that perfection of not getting collectibles in the story run. So I definitely don't want to do it at the very end of, like, my fourth attempt at this level. So, all right, we've shattered her by smacking her around. We've got the coin. We open the door and Buyuka Shao, like I said, because we already took out Todd. We had the key to get in here. 75,000. That's basically a stud requirement. Have you guys thought about that? You need so much vinyl to get a silver crown, which normally would get you a gold brick for getting the true adventure or whatever in LEGO. Pretty cool that they've incorporated that, but in a different way, right? But no collectibles. Whew, that was a lucky one. Guys, we're going to return to the factory and reset and get ready for the next one. But that is going to do it for Level 3 Vegan and again, story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to click the like button. Like I said, lots of stuff going on in that level with the red orb baddie spawning in weird places. Ah, it makes me a little uncomfortable for collecting later. But hopefully we'll have some, uh, some more info on that as we get down the road. So next level is Double Dragon where we take on the twins. You definitely don't want to miss that as I got super confused on how to complete the level even though it tells you how to do it right at the beginning somehow i just overlooked it but anyways guys check us out on social media head over to happythumbsgaming.com where we have our trophy achievement guides that are written lots of information there check it check it out as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time see you.